Nowadays, there are more endpoints than ever before to monitor and secure, ranging from applications and servers to infrastructure and IoT devices. And relying only on anti-malware programs, intrusion detection systems, intrusion prevention systems, and other cybersecurity technologies is not enough anymore. Zero-day vulnerabilities emerge on a regular basis, and the perimeter-based technology's capacity to protect against newly discovered security flaws is diminishing by the day. The best way to deal with these types of vulnerabilities is by directly patching software. Although patch management isn't considered to be one of the most exciting or enjoyable tasks for IT admins, the benefits of such systems can be priceless if done correctly. By adopting patch management best practices, organizations ensure they are managing patches as effectively as possible and avoiding possible attacks and data breaches. Hi, it's Antonia from Heimdall, and in this week's video, I will discuss some of the best practices of patch management that every company all over the world should be implementing. Create an asset inventory. You should keep track of your system's configuration and know which devices, operating systems, and third-party applications are currently being used. Once you have a solid understanding of what you're dealing with, it'll be much simpler for you to pay attention to vulnerabilities and find available patches. Establishing your system's risk levels and assigning priorities to each one of them is the next step in managing patches. When determining the risk levels of the systems in your organization, there are many factors to take into account. Some of them include how easy a flaw can be exploited, how long a system has gone without a patch, and whether the system connects to the internet or not. Run a vulnerability scan as well to make sure you know where there may be vulnerabilities. Patch management is part of the whole process named vulnerability management. Before patching, vulnerability management will detect the flaws. While all systems should be patched, you can make sure that the most vulnerable ones are managed first by carefully evaluating their risk levels. Keeping up with vendor patch announcements is vital. Software vendors release updates and send notifications to administrators through email. Many patch management software providers also keep their own database, which can be used to quickly search for available patches. Create a patch management policy. A patch management policy specifies what, why, and how patches are applied to different systems. Without a comprehensive policy that is strictly followed by all stakeholders, many issues that affect the usability of IT, OT systems can arise. Test on a small sample before wide deployment. It's true that software patches should be implemented in a timely manner, but rushing without making sure those patches suit your system will do no good. The testing part is an important patch management best practice. Patch validity depends on the vendor himself. Therefore, you need to make sure you test your patches on a small set of machines first and see how it behaves. If everything goes well, then you can apply them overall. New patch versions can have yet undetected bugs. This way you will avoid damage to certain machine configurations. Have a rollback plan. In case of errors or conflicts, you should be able to restore your software to the previous working version as soon as possible so you can reduce downtime. Automate the patching process. Although the patching process can be done manually, an automated process will always be better in terms of speed and accuracy. It will help avoiding human error and minimize the risk of malware infections. Automating the patch management process will definitely be more time efficient and your sysadmins can focus on other security related tasks. You will also gain full visibility into your IT environment and carefully keep track of your vulnerabilities and 
batches. Using this batch management best practices allows enterprises to be proactive about how they secure their systems and protect against vulnerabilities. However, by all means, it should not be seen as the answer to solving all issues, but as an essential layer of protection for your business alongside DNS filtering, endpoint, antivirus and firewall and privilege access management. Thank you for watching. Hope you'll find this video useful and come back for more patch management topics that we have prepared for you in the upcoming weeks. As always, don't forget to show us your support and like, share and subscribe. See you next week.